all right folks welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm gonna show you how you can get high balls like it's gonna be a hundred percent certain that after at least two hours of farming you're gonna get at least a east rune or maybe higher like as you can see i did a bit of uh collecting some runes uh most of the rooms here I collected during my Friday session uh, where I did this farm that I'm gonna explain you. I get like a five gurus and I did like a one Uber run as well. So I have an identified charm that I can sell. But enough talking and showing. Uh, let's tell you how you can do the runs and uh, what is the optimal way to do this run so you can get yourself a chance to get a high runs okay so as you can see here i'm making my enigma i was able to make my enigma like in the first week when i start uh, able to resurrect it after i was in hell mode of course because i spent some time thinking should i play the game again because way back i was really addicted to this one like 15 16 70 years ago so but anyway i give it a chance i like the graphics but anyhow so the run that we should doing it's pretty normal one we go for keys guys we're gonna get keys of destruction keys of terror and keys of hate so in order to do that we're gonna have to clear countess Summoner and Nihotag. The problem that you may face if you're playing Blizzard Source or Cold Source in general and you don't have like infinity, the problem is gonna be that you're gonna uh, have to wait your Merc to clear Countess and your Merc to clear the mobs around uh, Nihotag because uh, always the mobs around Nihotag are cold ones are immune to cold so that's going to be a problem but you can counter that uh, with your source respecting to lighting source in that case you'll be able to clear to make these runs way faster because here the key thing it's clear time we want to make all these three uh, bosses cleared under three minutes because if you don't know already we can make a game and after we make a game the new game that we can make it's going to be after one minute so for three minutes if we are cleaning three these three bosses we're gonna get three kills in three minutes which is great but if we're going slower then that, uh, that's not good. So speed is a key here. You want to have enough faster cast to teleport fast, enough gear to not die and to do the runs. As you can see here, I'm doing my runs on my uh, Paladin, which is hammered in with Enigma. It's pretty easy with it. I did it on my source as well, but as I said, it was on lighting source. So this is the main run that you can do. But there is a better run that you can do so we can put our hands in more keys in less time. Like the better run that we can do, it's actually if we go just for the summoner and Nihota. Because we can do this run for around one minute. And in one minute, we're going to have two clears not like on the previous run when in the three minutes mark we're gonna have three three clears so doing this run it's also great but again it's not that optimal as you can see here i'm gonna show you that i'm clearing uh, the summoner in nihil tag under one minute so even though these two bosses are like pretty far away from each other i still had to wait a bit in the lobby to make a new game as you will see now i'm going to the hero attack i'm gonna clear him sadly he's not gonna drop any case for me but yeah that will happen so i'm clearing him uh, 
loading drop and I mean the menu now in the lobby trying to make a game I have to wait so this is the second run that we can do and in my opinion the best run that we can do it's this one we are clearing the attack the summoner and trough because trough is like you don't sleep on trough trough is gonna drop you huge amount of runes it already did for me and this run is not gonna take you more than two minutes around one minute and a half uh, sometimes a bit more but it's not gonna take you more than two minutes if you are doing it uh, right and you don't waste time as you can see I didn't even found uh, the small run for my first try so you can even make it faster here I found the summoner on my last try and the run was still 1 minute and 30 something seconds so it's pretty great uh, the thing about this is we're gonna get keys and we're gonna kill the trap mobs that are there and that are dropping runes because these mobs are really huge for me that they already dropped me like 2 bears, jack bunch of small runes like Oompu, Mao, uh, even on the mobs around Mephisto that have the same like these ones, uh, they drop me like a Zod rune, so this is something huge and you want to kill Trap every time you make a game in hell and you can uh, clear them, I'm telling you just go for it clear it, it doesn't matter if you enter for a trade, if you enter for whatever you are entering, always clear these runs, because these draft runs are the best thing that you can do in the game, but by farming keys, as you can see, uh, we're gonna get keys, and what we can do with these keys, I'm gonna tell you now, if we go into any trading site, the two trading sites that I'm using for Diablo 2 Resurrected are Diablo2.io and the other one is uh, tradery.com uh, so as you can see here the most traded items at the moment is Hellfire Torch in order to get a Hellfire Torch you need a set of keys and that's why these keys Key of Destruction, Key of Terror and key of hate are so important that we're gonna farm them and we're gonna sell them like we either can sell like just the keys themselves uh, not even in a set as you can see here there are a bunch of offers some guys wants three keys of destruction and he wants east room some guys are, are uh, selling six keys for four marrons to east whatever 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 you can always trade your keys for runes or for uh, an identified torch or for torch alone like the currency of the keys it's really high demand right now so you can always trade them as you can see here seven keys of terror are gonna uh, are traded for just one east like two hours ago one key pool room like you get the idea right what I was telling you before like so let's see the chances that we're gonna get keys uh, one key of hate from the summoner uh, we can expect on every 11 runs to get one key right and you can check the rest of it like from Nihotak on every 12 runs uh, we can expect to get one key and from Countess uh, terror keys right there on every 13 runs uh, we're gonna expect to get one key so if you are able to farm with a speed of uh, one clear per minute that means for 60 minutes uh, we're gonna be able to clear uh, whatever we are clearing uh, 60 times so we're gonna put our hands on several keys and with these keys uh, we can easily turn them into the runes by trading them so that's a 100% sure method that if you play let's say two hours you're gonna get uh, at least the east room 
depend how lucky you are on the drops from the summoner and Nihil tag. Because as I mentioned before, the best runs that you can do, in my opinion, is going to clear the summoner, uh, then going to clear a uh, trap, and then going to clear Nihil tag. This one is not gonna take you more than two minutes, around one minute and a half. So you're pretty good right there. And by the time you're farming keys, if you get lucky from Thraff uh, with a good high run, uh, you will be so happy. I'm guessing because, oh my God, when Thraff drops like a Baron or a Jack for me, I'm really excited. And I'm sure that if you put your hands on something like this, you're gonna be really excited as well. And this is the runs that, I'm, or that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I hope you're gonna put your time and see that this is working and for sure you're gonna get high runs. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm gonna see you next time.